The positive feedback loop is the relationship between the banking sector in the UK and the supply of housing and land. So when you're looking at the price of any uh, good, look at the supply of it and how that interlinks with demand for it. And in the UK, the, when it comes to housing, the supply of land is inherently fixed. We can't make any more of it. And on top of that, the supply of housing has been pretty static as well uh, for a whole host of reasons over the past four decades. We've just not built enough houses. And when you look at demand sides, the amount of money that people have to buy property is uh, two things. It's one, the amount of income that they have, the amount of savings that they have, but it's also the amount that they can borrow from banks in order to purchase property. Um, and about, for, about four decades ago, the amount that people could borrow was limited quite strictly by regulations. Um, and it was mainly building societies that did lending. It was very kind of conservative lending from building societies. Beginning about the 1970s, though, there was quite significant deregulation in the financial sector and banks were incentivized to come in to the mortgage lending market. Um, and what you had there was a, an unleashing of a flood of new credit into the housing market, into the financing of new property. And what that did, when you have a, a flood of new money interacting with something with, where the supply is relatively fixed, uh, you inevitably have inflation, house price inflation. Um, and what that does is create a feedback loop between increasing house prices. Uh, that means that people then need to take out higher mortgages to buy more property um, in the first place. And that's, this obviously benefits the banks because they make their money from interest. Um, and that means that people have more household debt. And that means that house prices go up further. And then you have this continuous feedback cycle between ever increasing house prices, ever increasing levels of mortgage lending and ever increasing levels of household debt. And you're in a position today where we now have average house prices being about nine times that of average incomes across the UK and up to 20 times higher here in London. Um, and you have a situation where household debt is uh, you know, extremely high and a banking sector that's extremely profitable. Um, and that's really where uh, you know, the kind of um, unholy alliance that's emerged between, on the one hand, uh, banks, uh, and the other hand, existing property and landowners who have an interest in keeping this show on the road because it benefits them.